Kira and welcome to Tarmac. Today I've got my hands on BMW's smallest and cutest electric SAV. It's the BMW iX1 and it's, well, it's all electric and it's the X30 or xDrive 30, so it's all-wheel drive too. Come, let's take a look at this. In all honesty, I think the theme for this piece should be more or less square because Every sort of aspect of this iX1 is very square. Look at these, the kidney head, or the kidney grill here, which is obviously not a grill because there's no engine behind it, but it's very square, it's very square-like. The headlights, they've, they've got the, the BMW sort of ring around here or making them look like the double headlights, but they are still very square and also very sleek. So they do come across here for the LED side of things. There's plenty of airflow down the side. There's obviously nothing going again into the engine because there is no engine but there is some sort of venting coming under here to get to the battery system underneath in terms of dimensions we're looking at 4.4 meters in length and 1.62 in height but as you see again it's very quite boxy the abrupt front is very straight down here with minimal overhang up front and also at the rear the wheel arches they're sort of almost square like they're sort of quite they're not so archy anymore and they cover thankfully not square but 19 inch feet here that have got the bmw m sport sort of look about them there is plenty of blue as you've seen around the front there you see the blue around the side here you've got your m body kit here r1 is in a it's sort of an arctic white but very cool as well cool is white and the door handles look they sort of flick up which is kind of nice but making sure that they're very aerodynamic down the side here Around the rear here you've got a lovely long actually um, roof line spoiler that comes right out here blackened out privacy glass more blue around the BMW logo you've got some L-shaped LED tail lights here your xDrive 30 making you know which one it is and is four wheel drive and all wheel drive more blue along the bottom here and a tailgate that opens up to 490 litres of boot space so it's actually more than quite a lot in its uh, category and make sure that you know it's a sports utility so you can take this in many many places let's see what powers it now behind this flap gives you access to your AC or DC chargeable battery which is either 66.5 or usable 64.7 that in turn because it usually uses around about sort of 16 to 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers will give you up to 440 kilometers of range that in turn powers two electrical motors which combined gives you 230 kilowatts of power and 494 newton meters of torque zero to 100 is roughly 5.6 seconds and it's also got a lovely little boot boost handle which i'll show you inside which gives you 10 seconds of just extra oomph Anyway, let's take it for a drive and I'll show you around the inside while we're doing that. All right, so there's actually quite a lot to like about this BMW iX1. Not only is it the smallest in their range of SAVs, particularly in the electric SAVs, but it's also, it's compact and it's also very fast. Now, to get it going, you simply sit in it, push the start button, it sparks up with a lovely sound there, electric sound, pull it back on the D and away you go. So it's not instantly on, but not far off. And because it's not geared, really, uh, you yeah, don't have to worry about gear selection, just a straight D and that's it. In terms of looking around the uh, cabin here, it's quite spacious. The, the fact that there's sort of no sort of tunnel down the back here where it's minimal means that you can actually get four to five in here very well. The layout for the dashboard here, instrumentation and uh in and infotainment all is in one one dashboard or one one screen across here but split when you want to go through the it's all touch screen so nice and simple from there and also when it comes to your drive modes flick down here you go from everything from personal to sport to uh, efficiency or even sort of there's a creative sort of designy look about it as well Steering wheel, really good in the hand, and steering is very BMW positive. There's a nice little boost button here that just oh, uses all of that 
power and talk so it really unleashes it it actually gave me a little bit of a shock there and it does it's just a lovely 10 seconds of burst which is which is great steering wheel itself uh, m sport so nice and chunky in your hand and like i said steering feels really nice and well weighted visibility all round nice big windscreen here round the back there even the rear windscreen is very big and also not compromised by the headrests which is kind of good seats very comfortable you'd expect that from a bmw anyway particularly with the sort of m sport spec it's you know it's lovely the dials on, and buttons have been minimized so when it comes to your uh, auto uh, adaptive cruise control the one push one button you just select your mode set your set and away you go you can go faster slower and it is very good the lane keep assist is not too aggressive keeps you in your lane and also will follow the curvature of the road and just it's just a nice feeling sav it's got lots going for it space wise as i've said there's plenty of room to to put your gear in and when it comes to range I'm currently sitting on 212 kilometers of range with 235 forecasted as well and we've already had it for a few days so it's it's plenty of stuff to to get you where you need to go and also I think it's something like 10 minutes will give you 120 kilometers of extra range so keep giving you 10 minutes pop top up and that's your commute and stuff out the way stereo systems nice and loud you got a nice Harman Kardon system that's got very bait there's very bassy which is good the floating console doesn't get in your way which is again great your phone you flick up here it sits and faces you and also wireless charging with a little sort of band that keeps it nice and nice and in place those in the back do have space and um everything else is it's very intuitive very bmw like you know you can it's although it's an electric and there are plenty of electric or well, there's plenty of electricness around it it's very easy to drive and did i mention it's quick because it really is just picks up very nicely So there you have it, the new BMW iX1. It's the smallest in their range of uh, SAV or electrified SAVs, and it's a cracker. It's really easy to navigate around town. It's, I mean, it's compact size and also, but it feels quite substantial when it's on the open road as well. All wheel drive, so you can get onto those sort of grassy knolls and uh, I don't know, that's a whole different con concept there, but really nice feel really nice drive and um top marks thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next one see you